What's up my guys and gals, it's your boy Tile Maniac, back with another smoking Hot video, and today I am here to build my first ever gaming PC, because you know what, I've had a few um, setups in the past, and I figured now that, you know, I'm actually getting a little bit serious about this whole YouTube thing, let's get an actual computer going. So, for the first laptop I ever used in this channel, I think it was from the very beginning to like March 2021, it was this thing right here. Now this was gotta be at least a decade old at this point. Now, now, from then to basically now, I have been using this. It is an MSI GS66 Stealth. It's actually pretty powerful. It does most of the things I need it to. But if I want it to stay below nuclear temperatures, this thing's gonna have to sound like a rocket engine blasting off. You probably heard it in a few of my videos, but uh, just in case. Yeah, that's my only option for fanning. And for a while, it was just this with its screen. But then, you know, after a while, probably about January this year, I bought this monitor right here. I came home for the summer, and I got this second monitor set up, and I'm pretty sure this TV is older than I am, but you know, it's, what can you do? All right, so I know nothing about computers. So I figured to help me, I'd get someone who actually does know what the hell they're doing. And that right here is Evan, Frosted Smalls. You know him, he was just in one of my videos. Forcefully put into one of his videos. Why don't we take a look at some of the parts we got here. You helped me pick them out and I dropped 1800 on them. So here we got a liquid cooling system. It's cooled by water, not air. So you shouldn't be hearing any more of that fan in my videos. Yeah, so uh, actually that's the whole reason why we went with this cooler because since Tyler has a very, very wise choice in uh, jet engines for uh, fans. I am an aerospace engineer after all. I guess. I mean, I, I don't think, I don't think that means you gotta put jet engines in your, I mean, I mean, I mean, I, mean, I guess there's no law. Anyways, you. what do we got right here? We got our Asus motherboard, tough gaming right here. So. Basically with this, you, your motherboard is kind of like what everything runs off of. And then what do we got right here? Speaking of, uh, well, this DDR5, is our RAM. 16 gigs of RAM, the top and two sticks for Two sticks, gaming each one 16 speed. gigs. That means 32 gigs of RAM on this bad boy. Uh, <laughs> Isn't that what we ordered? Pretty sure you ordered two eight sticks, dude. Wait. My mistake. Wait. Oh. Yeah, 16 times two, so it's either- It is 32. All right, so I was right, wait, wait, wait. as always. Pause, all right, pause. I just forgot, you see, because I'm a very busy man. You know, I have to help oh, yeah, this yeah. man in his spare time. I have work, I have more work, I have other things I need to, you know what? All right, so this right here, Samsung, one terabyte SSD. Uh, CPU, AMD. The CPU is like the brain for your whole computer, so you wanted to make sure that he went with a good one that can handle everything accordingly. Power supply right here. This thing's what, you know, all the electricity is gonna be running through, how we get this thing up and operating. Hopefully, it's not gonna blow up, but uh, no promises. No promises. It is basically redneck engineering here. Hey, but we got a degree, or at least I have a degree in redneck engineering. Anyways, this right here is the thing every gamer just salivates for their graphics card. As you can see, he, uh, he is coping and seething over there, but this is a 3060 RTX. It's not a 4060 though. Ah. Yeah, you got one of those? Yeah, yeah exactly. And uh, right here, we got our case. It's got RGB. You can't tell that yet, but when we're done, you will be. It's got our little uh, Pepsi proof filter at the top here. And uh, <laughs> if you're watching, you know exactly who this is aimed at. I mean, honestly, do we just want to test it real quick? No. I mean, not. but you did say it was Pepsi proof. They all heard. I think we can, uh, we'll take them at their word. I mean, but did the company say it? Because I didn't see that. Cut to the sponsor. This video was sponsored by me. I paid for all of this. <laughs> Rat dog, come here. No, that, that's it, you're in the video. Commercial break. Commercial break. That's it, doggo. You're in the video now. Come here. Uh, Tyro Maniac is currently crawling around the floor looking for his dog. He can't find her. She's hidden around the <laughs> floor. Oh, he finally gets her, tries to get back up. Say hi. Say hi, Rat Dog. Say hi. Come on. All right, that's it. You get, you go. You go, you leave. So anyways, let's cut straight to the time lapse. We're gonna be using uh, Linus Tech Tips. He's gonna be collabing with us. Not really, we're just gonna be ripping off his content to help us build this, but uh, yeah, cut to the time lapse. Lemon enhanced water? Boy, I thought I was drinking 
regular water. <laughs> Be grateful, master. Anyways, so uh, we took a quick break. We ran down to Taco Bell, grabbed some of that heart clogging lunch, and we uh, we realized none of this stuff, the cooler, CPU, nothing came with thermal paste, so we had to run and get some of that, but uh, we're good now, so time lapse, go. So we need mounting brackets, a special kind of mounting brackets, you know, these things, except not this shape, to install the liquid cooler. We have every kind of mounting bracket, except the one we specifically need for this kind of motherboard. But I'm calling the company, I'm gonna ask them to see if they can explain what's going on. Because we have looked at these things and we are not finding them. So, as it turns out, the company never got back to me about those brackets. So I had to order new ones off of Amazon. It is now basically exactly one week after we did that last recording session, so I even got a new phone. Old one broke. Dumbbells do that, but you know. So, time lapse. Go! And coming over here, man. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, we believe everything is connected as it needs to be. As you can see, we've got all of our cables running on here. That's my job to deal with. And if you want to bring it up front here, then you can see that everything is plugged up and connected. Everything's all good and ready. The last test now is that we now get to plug it in for the first time. Are you ready? RGB is going. I don't see any like blinking lights anywhere. The RGB on the motherboard is turned on. Hey, okay, well, click your power button. Holy fucking shit, it works! Fans, first time boot up. Are you telling me? No cap. For real, for real. This thing worked first try. It worked first try. Am I great or what, dude? Fucking dab me up with that shit, son. <laughs> Lit! Holy shit! You have fun uh, with all that uh, cable management. Cable management, yeah. And, I'm, um, yeah, you, and, and you have a lot of fun with that too. I'll uh, I'll text you later, bro. I'll text you later. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> but yeah, Evan up and left because he knows what's left. I get to do everybody's favorite part of PC building: cable management. I've got to find a way to make that look pretty. All right, so half an hour and about, I don't know, a dozen zip ties later, you can kind of see what I've got going on here, how I've kind of, you know, fixed the whole problem, but it just... Yeah, so you can kind of see, you know, you got your tree trunk running down the middle here that keeps all your main wires contained. You got, you know, a bit of a rat's nest at the bottom here, but that's why this panel isn't glass anyways. No one has to see it. Yeah, so now last thing to do is just hook this thing up to a monitor and see how far we can get with installations. All right, so welcome back. It's definitely been a few hours and uh, I've taken all of them, just trying to get the PC set up, everything installed, all the files transferred over from my laptop to the PC, and um, boy, the PC. Yeah, so you can kind of see I got the same general double monitor set up, where I've got, you know, my good monitor and my potato monitor, but uh, you might notice the new addition is that, oh yeah, oh she's real pretty, isn't she? Fans back there, water cooling, got the RAM right there, it's, it's just beautiful. Also, you know, some uh, theoretical cable management, but uh, that, you know what, who's ever gonna see that? Doesn't matter. But yeah, somehow, through some miracle, this thing worked first try. There were some issues getting the Wi-Fi up and running because I forgot to install a few drivers, but other than that, I'm hoping this thing's just gonna take my video qualities like way the hell up. So anyways, that's it for this video. So remember to light up that like button, smoke that subscribe button, drop a big old comment, check out some of the videos on the left, and I will see you guys in the next video. Man, I gotta go back to not showing my face. I'm ugly as hell.